What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors back again, and uh, we've got something kind of fun today, showing a kind of craze that started from the Eastern Washington um, fishing page over on Facebook, Brandon Collier, one of the admins, kind of started this challenge of called the Shoehorn Challenge, and it was to see how many people could make a fishing dodger out of a shoehorn, one of the metal ones, and uh, be able to then to go out and catch a fish. And a lot of people got into it, a lot of people participated, and a lot of people actually caught fish. And it was really fun. I unfortunately didn't get mine on the water until the last day. And uh, really looked good, but no fish were biting as the front came through. But today was going to be a fun video to show you guys how easy it is to make your own lure out of a metal shoehorn. So what you're going to need is a metal shoehorn itself. Um, one of these comes in just you know your general seven eight inch size you can get at the store. These happen to be a four inch model. And to some of you that are I know are fishermen, you're gonna look at this and go, "That's a pretty fishy shape." And I would happen to agree with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this shoehorn dodger, or I should say metal shoehorn, and turn it into a fishing dodger, just like this. So you will see it transform into something that really works well in the water. With that being said, you need your shoehorn. You can go pick one of these up at Fred Meyer, Walmart, wherever they have shoes sold, you're gonna have some of these metal shoehorns. I happened to get mine over at Amazon, came in a six pack, and uh, for those that may want the actual name of it, get that to focus up but it came in a six pack which allowed a lot of cool ways for me to play around with this and when you get them they're pretty flat and the back end kinda has the slight bend for the sake of your heel where it's cupped and makes it easy to slide your foot in so that front end of the nose we're gonna flip that over and we're gonna bend that the opposite direction that the cup is pointed. So the cup points up, we're going to bend the nose down. This will drive in the water the dodger to go back and forth. Then what we're going to do is because this cupped end is great, you know, it already has some of the shape, we have to bend this further to really get it to where it'll work well in the current of your boat troll. So this is what we're going to bend it to. So what I then take is a good set of pliers, a blanket, because I don't want to scratch the crap out of this. So we'll put the blanket over the top of the dodger. You're going to grab this with your hand and just apply pressure and roll. And what you will see is that as you do that it's going to slowly roll and if you do it the right way it'll roll nicely and then you can kind of just play around with how much roll you want but you've generally now got a good idea for that bend on this and you can kind of play one side may not have gotten as much bend as the other so you can just slightly give it another little roll to where it's about even might be a little more aggressive than you want that's where you start to tinker with it and I found as I've made a few of these is you can put it in the water check it out and then make adjustments as needed but as we get close you can see now it has a pretty nice shape to it and it's really neat to be able to do this and then see how something like this all turns out in the long run so start out with a flat dodger flat shoehorn now I got a dodger so this sucker is going to be paired up next to one of the other ones I've previously done so I can see that 
I have a little bit of a, a model to go off of. I needed a little bit more. And we're good. Next steps. You got your shoehorns bent correctly. Now you're going to need a drill bit. This happens to be a 5 16th. And what we're going to do is drill out the bottom here to be able to make a hole on the back side. Just like I did here in the final project. You need something there on the bottom to be able to get your dual lock onto. And then we're going to take a smaller one, which I believe is a 332nd, and we're going to get and drill a tiny hole up at the top. So, want to make sure you're in the correct area to do this. So we're going to go out quickly and go drill a couple holes and come right back. Alright, we just got back, drilled our holes. I couldn't find my small drill bit, but you can see here the top end has a hole drilled. Our bottom ends have a hole drilled. Now these are shaped. They are ready put on kind of basically the last finishing touches and I think what we're gonna do I have a size 4 60 pound class Brad's dual lock we're gonna put one on the top of each and one on the bottom of each this way you can quickly snap onto your line and it gives the motion that this needs so you're gonna take the top end Put your dual lock in, you know, like that. So now the Dodger can almost freely swing all the way around, as opposed to, and this is why we drilled the hole, I'll show you. If you put it, the dual lock, in just through the bigger section, what you have happen is it's restricted, just like that. It's going to get hung up and not be able to fully rotate like you want it to but you add that additional hole in the top end and look what it can do now now you have a free swinging dodger to fish with so one on the back end as well because this end goes to our lure and just like that guys you have made yourself a dodger out of a shoehorn super easy a lot of fun the only thing that you would need then now is to get some tape and tape it up however you would like but you can go all sorts of different color patterns UV painting them whatever you may like and it's a lot of fun. Not too expensive, but it's all your creativity getting to go to work and you get to get something that in all honesty will catch a good amount of fish and you can do it on something you made yourself. So creating a fishing dodger for kokanee and trout out of a shoehorn that you would pick up at your store or maybe even have one at home. It's really fun guys. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh Take a look at some of the action of what this looks like in the water. And I'm telling you, it's fishy. When I go over to Chelan here soon, it's going to be ran on one of my rods. And I'll show you guys how well it fishes. So, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these kind of fun do-it-yourself videos, comment below and give this one a thumbs up. If I can get enough of them, I'm going to try and keep doing a lot more of these household items into fishing lures. So, thanks guys. This is Rick Denner with Home Only Outdoors signing off. Take care. And fish on.